guys, and welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley. Please ignore the voice. I'm still getting over a cold, but I could not wait any longer. I have to tell you what my top 10 picks from Daniel Smith paints are. I've been building my Daniel Smith watercolor paint collection for a while now, and I finally have completed my 48 pan palette. And I'm gonna tell you my top 10 Daniel Smith picks. The ones that I go to once I use the most, the ones that I just love from this brand. So if you want to see my completed Daniel Smith 48 pan palette, let me know, I will do a video on that. But today I want to talk about my top 10 picks. Here it is, here is my Daniel Smith palette. I finally finished it. I did have 24 and then I was slowly building out the rest. Um, if you want, again, if you want to see me talk about all of these colors a little bit more in depth, let me know. I'm going to go through and find the ones that I've used the most, the ones that I just reach for all the time and can't live without. Um, let's see if you can tell <laughs> by the empty pans which ones I love the most. But let's, um, let's dive into these colors. So the number one color, which surprised me how much I use it and love it. I use it for mixing. Um, I use it in pretty much anything that I paint and that's cad yellow medium. So cadmium yellow medium. Um, I've had to, I've used the entire pan. I've had to refill it and I am once again, halfway through this pan. Um, I originally got this as a pan of paint with this palette and then I had to buy the tube so I could refill it. But I am going through this color. I use it so much. I never thought I would use like yellow is not like a color that I just love. Like I'm a purple and a blue and a green lover. And so I was so surprised at how quickly I go through yellow. And this specific yellow is my favorite from Daniel Smith. My number one pick is cadmium medium, cadmium yellow medium. All right, my second pick from Daniel Smith. This one is a gorgeous color and this is Rose of Quinacridone. Now, what is so special about this paint? Well, let me show you. And I actually painted something this morning with it and I'll put this on the screen, but um, this paint is just so beautiful. It separates, um, it has a lot of, I guess, ultramarine in it. It separates into, has some blue specks in it and kind of looks purple with it. Like it's, it is a beautiful color and I love the separation and the granulation of this beautiful pink. So this is definitely my favorite number one used pink. Okay, moving on to green, my favorite green. I do a lot of plants, florals, that type of thing. So obviously a green that is um, perfect for those things is one I'm going to gravitate toward, but this one in particular, the granulation, the separation of this green, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. This green, this green right here, I am almost out of, this was actually a pan when I got it. It came with the palette I originally bought and I'm gonna need to buy the tube when this is gone because it is definitely my most used green. It's a beautiful green that's already ready to make leaves and things from. I love mixing colors and I like making my own colors, but this green is just so perfect that I don't have to mix. And I, I sometimes mix with it to make it, you know, different, but it's a beautiful, beautiful green. Now the next one is one of my favorite colors. It's purple and it is like a very light lilac -y purple. This is Wisteria and Wisteria um, was another one that came with a set. I didn't like pick this one out individually. It, it came with the palette and I love it so much. I use it so much. I use it to mix in. I use it by, on its own. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. All right, so that was number four. Moving on to blue. Um, deciding which blue was my favorite was a little difficult because I love blue and I, I love all the different blues. Lunar blue is a new one to me. I just got it, haven't painted with it yet, but I'm obsessed with it, but that's not on this list just because I haven't used it yet. My favorite blue from Daniel Smith is the Thalo Blue Green Shade. And this one, um, right here. I guess I'm going to be swatching this, but it is such a beautiful blue. I use it a lot when I'm mixing and it's just a gorgeous, vibrant, clear blue. And that's definitely in my top 10. Okay. Number six is permanent red. And honestly, I'm not a huge red fan, but I do use red a lot in mixing things. And this is a perfect, just good primary red to use for mixing. And for using red. I just don't use red a lot. Um, so I had to really think about that one. 
Number seven is Payne's Gray, and I use Payne's Gray quite a lot. Um, and ag again, like I will use it to mix in with colors. I use it on its own. It's very blue toned gray. It's beautiful. All right, we're coming to number eight. And number eight is a brown shade. This is Van Dyke Brown. Um, it was really the only brown I used for a while until I recently bought some warm browns um, for doing pet portraits. But I really like browns that are cooler and this is a dark cool brown. So Van Dyke Brown is my most used brown. And I can add, you know, reds and yellows to it to make it a warmer shade. So again, color mixing. Okay, the next one, number number nine is, it's a newer one to me. I have had it for a couple of months, but I've already used a significant amount of it. It is a beautiful shade of green and it's rare earth, rare green earth. And it's just so pretty. It's more muted. It's rich it's gorgeous and I love it so much all right and number 10 is actually a red shade which surprises me because like I said I don't use red a lot but it is Luter Red Rock and I love this for its granulation I love it I love it I love it <laughs> um I'm going to say this once again I love it to mix into things if you mix it with some blue and make a nice muted um purple it it's got the separation and the granulation um but it also it looks a lot like ocean papers potter's pink like they are almost identical and i like ocean papers potter's pink way more than daniel smith um but lunar red rock is one of the most beautiful granulating shades and that is number 10 so those are my top 10 picks and honestly the Daniel Smith paints are the ones that I use the most and they're the ones that I use for any kind of commissioned work. They're reliable, they're beautiful. And um, yeah, I would love to take you through all 48, but that's for another video. But those are my top 10. It was really hard to pick. There's some other ones that are newer to me that I love already, um, but I didn't want to pick those just because I haven't used them as much. But yeah, that, that it, that it, that's all. But that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I would love to know what your favorite Daniel Smith paint is if you have. Okay, pick your top three because it's really hard to pick just one. So pick your top three Daniel Smith paints and let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Why is there a train again? Kylie is making fun of me. She's down here, by the way. Building bin the <laughs> looks like a Jedi. <laughs> Opal, don't die. So many hands. Okay, but if you did enjoy this video, and that just sounded like a weird transition, that doesn't work. Say bye, Kylie. Say bye. bye.